Hi guys, today I'll be teaching you how to create a glass morphism effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. We'll be working in a 1920 by 1080 sequence. I have already prepared a fun shape animation background. It comes from the AE Juice pack called Animated Backgrounds. I have an affiliate link in the description below if you want the exact same background as me. But anyways, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select my shape tool by pressing Q and making sure that I have the rectangle tool selected. Just draw a random square. Then I'm gonna come up into window and click on essential graphics so we get our essential graphics panel up. What I'm gonna do in here is change the width to 1420 and the height to 16 to 680, like so. And I'm just gonna center it and I am gonna change the, uh, I'm gonna round the corners here to maybe like 50. Let's actually do 75, I think. Ah, 50, I think that's best. Let's drag out the graphics layer so it fills the entire thing. What I'm going to do now is actually just here click on the graphics layer, right click and click adjust my layer and it's going to go away and that's fine. Then I'm going to search for an effect called Gaussian Blur and apply that to our graphics layer. Change the blurriness to 300 like so. Then I'm going to duplicate this graphics layer like so. I'm going to come in again here and just click off the adjust my layer. And I'm also going to click off the Gaussian Blur, like so. Then in this shape layer here that we create have now, like before, I'm going to change the opacity here from 100 to 2. Then I'm going to duplicate the shape. So in our new shape here, I am going to remove the fill, enable stroke, and have this at 2 and outer. And I'm going to change the opacity to 20. This will just give this cool edge to our effect. And now the effect is actually done. What I actually just want to do now is just create some text here. So you can kind of see the effect in action. Let me just speed this up a little bit. All right, I think the effect is finally done. Let's take a look. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, then please consider liking this video and dropping a comment down below letting me know which type of video or tutorial you would like to see next. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really motivates me a lot. But anyways, take care, guys. Bye-bye.